So let's look how to bounce a file in Pro Tools and have it uploaded to SoundCloud right from Pro Tools. So we'll be using Pro Tools 11 in the bounce to share with, and that's where we can upload to SoundCloud. So I have a little mix here. It's all just instrument tracks made only with some included instruments in Pro Tools. And I also have a audio clip here that was recorded and I put the air frequency shifter on it, bounced that out and bounced it right back in to Pro Tools. But that will be on mute for our little demo song. So first off we can go to setup and connect. And right here is where we can sign in and sign out from SoundCloud. So we can sign in, sign out now. We can also click not a member, sign up, click that. Browser will come up where you can sign up and create your free SoundCloud account. So that's one way that we could connect to SoundCloud. But we're not going to do that right now. So we have our example song ready to bounce out and upload to SoundCloud. I'll just set the bounce length and I'll come to file, bounce to, and disk. Now if you want to bounce to SoundCloud, you'll need to choose mono summed or interleaved. If we choose multiple mono, then we go to share with and SoundCloud is grayed out. So we'll choose and you see what I did there, I accidentally clicked Enforce Avid Compatibility, so uncheck that. And now we can choose the mono summed, and we have our SoundCloud. Or we can choose Interleave, which is what you'll probably be choosing most of the time. And we'll choose Share with SoundCloud. I don't need to import that. And let's go ahead and add an MP3 while we're at it. So we'll just leave it as a WAV file. That's fine. 24-bit, 48 that's fine for me. You may want to choose 16. You may want to choose 44 1 or that's up to you. But I'm going to leave it at 24 bit 48. That's fine for what I want to do. And we have our share with SoundCloud selected. So we'll name our file. We'll call this PT11 test bounce to SoundCloud SC. And we'll click bounce. Now, since we have added an MP3, we get our MP3 options where we can add in all of our data, which I'm not going to do now. But you can do that if you want. So we'll click OK. Now we have the Share with SoundCloud option. So the title, I already have it titled right. Description, this is a test of PT11 Bounce. So we change this to Bounce. There we go. Upload to SoundCloud. You can change your license type, no rights, all rights, and these other options. I'll just say all rights. You can say what kind of a mix is this. We'll just say it's a demo. You can make it downloadable or not downloadable. I'll leave it unchecked. You can add in a genre if you want. So I'll just say metal, even though this is not even remotely metal. You can add tags to it. I'll add Pro Tools as a tag. And I can make this a private track if I want and enter somebody's email. And then we have the option to show notification when upload is complete. If you don't need the notification, uncheck it. If you do, check it and then you'll get a little pop-up after it's been uploaded. So after we have all that done, we're going to bounce, we have our MP3 added, and we're going to upload it to SoundCloud. So then we'll hit share. And right now our little mix is bouncing down. And we're using the real time bounce. And there we go, our bounce is done. And right after our bounce is done, we have our connect to SoundCloud window. And this is where we will log in. So I'll type in my email and password. And you can choose remember me or not. You can see our status right now is disconnected. And we'll go ahead and click connect. You can see I misspelled my email address. Fix that and then connect. And now depending on how large the file is, it may take a few seconds, a few minutes to complete that upload. So let's check in our bounce file. So. Here's our bounce files, and yes indeed, we have an mp3 that bounced out, and our WAV file that bounced out, and we'll just wait a bit longer. Now I can continue to play back my track if I want. Maybe make some more adjustments. Oh, there we are. We'll stop that, and our upload was successful. Now I can click copy, copy to my clipboard, click OK, then I'll launch a browser. I can just paste that in, paste and go, if you're using Google Chrome, and there we go. So we can see this is tagged metal, we have Pro Tools, it's a test of PT11 Bounce to SoundCloud, so that's pretty cool. So now we'll go back to Pro Tools and we'll bounce this out again. So we still have our length selected, we'll go to File, 
we'll go to bounce to disk and we'll do wave I don't need an mp3 interleaved is fine let's say 16 44.1 and we're going to share with SoundCloud let's change the name here to test offline bounce to SoundCloud and we'll check offline so now this bounce will be done in just a couple seconds versus the real-time bounce that we did before so now we'll hit bounce this gives us our share with SoundCloud test bounce of PT11 offline bounce and we'll leave these pretty much the same I might change this we'll just say rock and we'll have our show notification and let's just make this downloadable and we'll click share and there's our offline bounce and now we'll just wait a few seconds for the upload to complete on SoundCloud and since we're already connected with SoundCloud through Pro Tools we don't need to re-enter our email address and password so we'll check our files go to our bounce files and right here is our offline bounce that we did oh and right there our upload was successful so let's check that out pop up in our browser Right there is our offline bounce. You can see that it's downloadable, so you can download it if you want. And right here is both the files that we just uploaded right from Pro Tools. So by using the Share with SoundCloud right from Pro Tools, it kind of saves us a couple steps from bouncing out and then having to open a browser, upload, choose your file, sign into your account, all that stuff. Do it right from Pro Tools. So now we'll test one more thing. So we also have another option to uh, to share sound with SoundCloud. So right here I have a vocal clip that I mentioned earlier. That you can listen to real quick. Export to SoundCloud. So it's just a, like a little robot sort of voice. So if we look over here in our clips bin, we have that clip highlighted. Now we can click this down arrow and choose export clip or clips as files. Or I can just right click it and choose export clips as files, which is what we want to do. So we'll just export this little clip. And again, I want to share with SoundCloud, make sure this is on interleaves. 2448 will be fine for this. Share with SoundCloud, and we'll just click export. And then we have the options here. It's gonna be called vocal clip. This is a test of Pro Tools 11 export and SoundCloud. And we'll just leave these the same. Sure, make it downloadable. And we'll have a notification when we are done. Call this vocal clip SoundCloud and click share. So our file has actually already been exported because an export is just simply exporting the file. So that's almost instant. We can check our file system here, our audio files, vocal clip, and then just wait a couple seconds and there it is. Upload was successful. You can copy that if you want, but we're already logged in. So I'll just go back, refresh. And right there is our vocal clip that we just uploaded. Export to SoundCloud. Export to... All right. So now that we're done bouncing or exporting and having those files shared with SoundCloud, if you want, we can go ahead and log out of SoundCloud. We can do that from setup. Go to connect to your SoundCloud. You can see down here it says status connected as, and then it says my email address. So then you can click disconnect if you wish to. And I'll do that. And now we are disconnected. And my email address and password are still filled in in this little box so I could reconnect real quick if I wanted to. If I did that, say, by accident. You don't have to disconnect. This is just where you would do that if you choose to. So again, if you know you'll be exporting to SoundCloud, right when you start up Pro Tools, you can just go to Setup, Connect to SoundCloud, go and connect, check the Remember Me box. Then you shouldn't have to enter any passwords when you finally get down to bouncing or exporting.